guitar players have the only opinions that are actually facts. <laughs> Looking for a new plug-in? Probably have enough EQs and compressors and all that. Try Insta Composer by WA Plugins, WA Productions. I screwed that up. It's good. I got it. Got mine from Plugin Boutique. Uh, sounds a bit fruity, doesn't it? The shop name, Boutique, yeah, whatever. It's a good plugin. Here's how I use Insta Composer by WA Productions. So I go ahead and open up Studio One and I open up some instrument tracks. Now the instrument tracks can be blank or you can load up whatever your favorite MIDI instrument is on those tracks. And then you can drag and drop Insta Composer onto one of those tracks. It doesn't really matter which one. The goal is just to get Insta Composer to generate MIDI data that you can then drag and drop onto whatever instrument you want over here in your instrument tracks. Right here in Insta Composer, I have this selected, all. So when I go ahead and hit go, it's going to generate MIDI data based on these different criteria here at the bottom as an example in all of these five tracks. If I want to just generate MIDI data for one of the tracks, one, two, three, four, or five, I can just click on it down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to generate it for all tracks. And notice you can have these different modes, melody, riff, ostinato, rhythm, bass, pad, chord. What I'm going to do is for the first track here, I'm going to choose pad. Let's say for the second track here, I'm going to choose bass. And then for the third track, I'll choose melody. Now, right here, you can see we've chosen the key of C. Well, that's super easy, right? And we've chosen a major scale. You can choose major, minor, or harmonic minor. I wish they had more specific, more kind of refined uh, scale sets, more versatility. However, you can do a lot with this. Here's what I mean. You know, if you're playing something major, you can go ahead and improvise different modes over that because all modes are just variations of the major scale. And once you generate a MIDI idea, you can go ahead and just modify the MIDI notes to match whatever vision you have in mind for a particular song. I'm going to go ahead and now that we have pad, bass, and melody chosen, I'm going to make sure I select all down here. And I'm going to hit go. Now I'm not going to be using tracks four and five, I don't think, but at least I'll have the data for the first three. So based on this, I'm choosing, you know, I can choose a different chord progression by choosing this here. I can click on this and it'll change the chords we see here. And notice I'm in 4-4 time. You can change this to match whatever weird time signature you want to go into. So I'll choose new chord progression. We'll start with a major ninth in the key of C. Sounds good. So I'll go ahead and hit go. Bingo, so there we have some MIDI data. Now I can go ahead and scroll over to the right and see this little arrow here at the top. I can drag this out to generate more data at a time if I want to. So let's go ahead and hit go again. There we go, and now we've dragged it all out to, what? 24 bars. So we're going to go ahead and let's drag and drop some MIDI data. So let's see, I'll go ahead and drag one right here. And I've already chosen an instrument with my Native Instruments complete control thing. I've chosen this cloud supply for the pad. Let's see what it sounds like. something. All right, well, let's go ahead and get some data on track two. 
now I've already chosen because track two, see I have these three tabs here, track two I had chosen bass. So in my third tab here I had chosen a Native Instruments Scarby bass. Let's go ahead and drag the MIDI data from track two. I'll just click and drag track two. Exit that little window. Now let's play it, see what everything sounds like together. To me that bass part sounds a little bit too busy, but I might be able to make it work, especially if I go ahead and change the instrument on the first track. So if I go back to complete control here, and let's choose something different here for this. Um, let's see. Let's see what this sounds like. okay but I definitely I definitely spent some more time playing around with that till I got something I really liked now let's go back to Insta Composer and this first tab I'll click on that and let's see we have some MIDI data in the melody mode here and there's our MIDI data. So I'll go ahead and drag that on to track three. Now I haven't chosen a, an instrument for track three yet. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna drag complete control onto track three. And we're gonna choose to keep Insta Composer. And now using my keyboard, so you can't see really what I'm doing right well, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you with the mouse on the screen instead of choosing everything with the keyboard. So let's go ahead and choose some, choose an instrument here. All these different types. Now we're choosing a melody instrument, so you know what might be kind of neat is maybe some mallets. Let's see. Okay, let's see what that sounds like. Sounds pretty cool from here. There we go. So Insta Composer is very handy for generating MIDI data that you can then drag and drop and assign your favorite MIDI instrument to whatever track. Insta Composer is actually really good for coming up with ideas. It's not going to write a song for you. You need to think about stuff and, and kind of arrange things based on your own vision and your own songwriting capability. It's a whole other animal. But it does help you come up with ideas. Speaking of ideas, I've got to go. I've got to, I've got to shower and get ready. I got a date with your mom tonight. <laughs>